Hi, I'm Trish Triampho Sullivan, and I'm going to talk to you tonight about the motion assignment for photo one. That's assignment number three, and you're going to take three images, one motion blur, one pan, and one freezing motion. So we're going to start off with motion blur, and to do that, you need a slow shutter speed, one over three zero. Okay, one thirtieth of a second is about right. So I'm going to stand here, and I've pre-focused my camera, and when the car comes in front of me, I snap a photo and I have a motion blur, okay? The next one I'm gonna do is a pan shot. To do that, I'm gonna bend my legs and I'm gonna follow the cars. Snap the photo when the car is right in front of me, like so. So I'm gonna follow the car that and keep moving. You got to keep moving otherwise you have to do that follow through otherwise you're not going to get the pan shot. So it's really important that you keep moving with it. I'm actually going to step back just a little bit. We're going to try one more time with the pan shot so that you guys can see. There you go. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm looking at some cars coming from over there. Right? Now I've set my camera at 1 30th of a second. Okay, so 1 30th of a second, and I'm waiting for some cars to start coming. I've bent my knees a little bit. My legs are, are a feet apart, okay? Now I see the car coming. I'm following, 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 snap, keep going. And it's super important that you do that follow through. If you don't do the follow through, you're not gonna get the pan shot. The object is, to have the background be blurry while the the subject in this case a car is in sharp focus and that's what a pan shot is it shows motion by making it look like the background is moving and uh, even though the background's not moving the subject is moving but it's a really cool effect okay so um, the first one we did was a motion blur and that one was one and I'll show you one more time so we'll do number one one more time is here comes a car I want you to watch as soon as the car gets in front of me, I take the photo. And when the car is right in front of me, it creates a blur as the car like goes through the frame of the photo. Now here's a good one. This guy's going pretty fast. And so I've got that motion blur. So I'm gonna try one more. That was a pan shot, so I did the motion blur and the pan just like that, boom, okay? The third one we're gonna do is called freezing motion. And to do that, we're gonna switch, we're, gonna, we're not gonna do the cars anymore, um, but we're gonna switch the shutter speed to a higher shutter, a faster shutter speed. So I'm gonna take my camera, and if you wanna look down here, you can see I'm changing my shutter speed from one over 30, up to a pretty fast one. So I'm gonna probably go up to one one thousandth of a second. Okay, one one thousandth of a second. And I'm gonna to try to freeze motion on water. So stay tuned and we'll, we'll do that in just a minute. Off. So I'm back with the high shutter speed where we freeze motion at one one thousandth of a second. I'm gonna take some water and throw it in the air and take a photo. Ready? Go. Boom, I got it, it was that quick. 